Gut bacteria, how does it actually influence the brain? Well, think of your gut bacteria, they discovered just recently, it's kind of like the gatekeeper. Kind of like uh, basically before anything gets to your brain, your gut has to go, hey, it's okay. Well, better the way, chaperone. That's the better way of putting it. Well, this is what they discovered and it's quite a groundbreaking pilot study. It will make you rethink antibiotics really hard, especially when it comes to pregnancy. In the research article entitled, Gut Microbiota Influences Blood-Brain Barrier Permeability, published in Science and Translational Medicine, November 2014. And to review that our natural gut residing microbes influence the integrity of the blood-brain barrier, which protects the brain from harmful substances in the blood. As many of you know, that blood-brain barrier is, is kind of like a shield that prevents things from getting across it. And therefore, because that shield wasn't there, little simple things would mess you up big time. And as we go a little further, it provides experimental evidence that our indigenous microbes contribute to the mechanism that closes the blood-brain barrier before birth. That's where the pregnancy part comes in. If someone's in their third trimester or wherever it is, and they're taking antibiotics or living in a sterile environment, that does not bode well for having a good, strong blood-brain blood -brain barrier as that child develops. And you'll find even into adulthood. So what happens is, that cellular envir sterile environment is actually quite harmful to the developing neurological system, so to say. And here we go a little further. It says the investigators reached the conclusion by comparing the integrity and development of the blood-brain barrier between two groups of mice. First group of mice was raised in an environment where they're exposed to normal bacteria, played around, hanging out with friends, whatever mice do, but no one was really getting that involved. The second group of mice obviously were germ-free, Sterile antibacterial soap, someone sneezed, everyone got antibacterial soap. Basically, they had no natural bacteria in their gut whatsoever. And this is what happened to the developing fetuses. It says, we showed that the presence of the maternal gut microbiota during late pregnancy blocked the passage of labeled antibodies. Labeled antibodies mean they put the stuff in the blood and they could follow where it went throughout their bodies. Henceforth, labeled. It says, from the circulation into the brain, parenchyma of the growing fetus. Parenchyma being a fancy word, parenchyma just means besides filling. Parin filling. Think of it like a brick wall. So not such, so much a brick wall if you have no gut bacteria to protect it. Then they discovered this. In contrast, the germ-free mice, in age-matched fetuses from the germ-free mothers, these labeled antibodies easily crossed the blood-brain barrier and was detected within the brain parenchyma, meaning, oh, they don't belong there, but they're there. And there's a reason, because the gut here wasn't there to defend here. Weird connection, isn't it? They also showed, which is more disturbing, this. It didn't normalize itself as the mice went into adulthood. There we go. The team showed that the increased leakiness of the blood-brain barrier observed in the germ-free mice from early life was maintained into adulthood, meaning what the mother did when they were developing as children played a role all the way out throughout their life, meaning little things that shouldn't be affecting them uh, mentally, so to say, or brain-wise or chemical-wise, lead, uh, dioxins, you name it, pesticides, neurological pesticides, that normally when you do a trial in animals or humans, does it normally cross the blood-brain barrier? Well, if the child was grown in a sterile environment, you have to rethink that. So, they found out though that they can correct it by transplanting the bacteria from the not so clean mice. And therefore, eventually, that good bacteria that they added resealed the mortar and pestle, the mortar, not pestle, of that blood-brain barrier once again. So what do you take from this? If you could avoid antibiotics, especially during pregnancy, it'd be a huge service to your child in the future. Thank you very much, once again.